Most people, and maybe you're one of these people, don't give much thought to how their voice sings louder. Most people just <laughs> open their mouth, and give it some, and essentially yell in a melodious fashion. But if you've been doing this singing thing for any length of time, you'll know that if you have to sustain that level of effort for any length of time, your voice is going to wear out rather quickly. Well, I'm here to tell you that it doesn't need to be this way. You can learn to sing louder, not harder. Sound check. Singing louder can be a lot easier on your voice than you might think, but perhaps not in the way you might think. You see, most students that I work with start out by approaching their volume production with increased effort. One student recently summed up this approach with the word projection. A quick Google search provides this Wikipedia definition, voice projection is the strength of speaking or singing whereby the voice is used powerfully and clearly. It is a technique employed to command respect and attention. Now, when I read the words strength and command, I immediately conjure up the thoughts of physical exertion. If I'm going to project my voice, then I feel like I need to form a projectile that I will fire forth into the void between me and my audience. And that is likely to require a lot of effort. Excess effort is never efficient. Before I talk you to sleep, let me show you a singing activity from Dr. Dan's Voice Essentials Exercise Collection, Exercise 39, Diminished Triads. I'm going to sing a few phrases for you and then I'm going to tell you how you can use this activity to sing louder, not harder. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the example you just watched, did you notice how balanced and free my vocal production was? Rewind to this timestamp and watch it again. You'll see how at no point am I overdriving my voice and yet you'll also note that I'm not producing a quiet sound either. The secret is achieve balance first and then the volume will come. Always put your horse before the cart. Now, granted, the level of volume I'm displaying in the recording could never be called extreme volume, far from it. But here's the key. If I put this level of voice production through a microphone, it would be more than sufficient for most performances. Once you've established vocal balance, you can reinforce that balance with refined resonance for further increase in volume when needed. Now, remember that Wikipedia definition for voice production I showed you earlier? Well, its author goes on to write, in singing, voice production is often equated with acoustic resonance, the concentrated pressure through which one produces a focused sound. Refined resonance will produce the greatest amount of projection available to a voice by utilizing all the key resonators found in the vocal cavity. Who said Wikipedia can't be trusted as a reliable source of information? Well, most of the time it can't, but in this particular instance, it's pretty good because it points our attention to the right thing when it comes to voice projection and singing, resonance. You see, increasing your volume is first about the balance of air and muscle, and second about how you tune the focus of your resonance. And for those of us who are keen to sing contemporary genres like rock, pop, country, and pretty much any contemporary style requiring healthy, sustainable volume, then that focus of resonance will come from twang. Let me show you exercise 39 again, first without a focus to the resonance, and then I'll add focus to my voice production with twang, and you'll hear a significant change in the volume. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Essentially, when it comes to singing louder, you need to coordinate all four components of the voice, the power source, the sound source, the resonators, and the articulators for sustainable lift in volume. In this video, I showed you how to sing louder. In this video, I'm going to teach you how your singing voice works to produce all types of sounds, loud, soft, breathy, clean, by coordinating the four components of your in interconnected biomechanical vocal system. I hope you'll join me. I'm Dr. Dan. Sing well.